Good morning, rabbit lovers. In this video, I'm going to be talking about our deep bedding system for our meat rabbit colony. When you house your rabbits in cages, poop and pee falls through the wire floor, away from the rabbits. In rabbit tractors and other mobile setups, the rabbits will poop and pee on the ground, but then you move them to fresh ground, away from their poop and pee. But in a static colony like we have, the rabbits will poop and pee, and because they are on the ground, and we don't move them, poop and pee stays where it is and the rabbits stay where they are and really quickly that could go very badly and they could get all sick and die and it'd just be nasty and bad and a gross mess. There are several ways to combat this disaster. One way is to put bedding down and then when the bedding gets soiled you clean it out and then replace it with fresh bedding and maybe you do that every few days or every week, depending on how many rabbits you have and how big your space is. Another thing some people do is they just have their dirt floor or whatever they have in their colony. And they will scrape the poop off of the floor and gather it up and put it somewhere else. So the rabbits have a pretty clean dirt floor. The pee still soaks in, but the poop isn't as bad. And some people have great success with that method. But as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I don't do either of those methods. Instead, I do what's called a deep bedding system. You can use deep bedding not only with rabbits, but we use it with our chickens and our goats. You can use it with pigs and cows, all sorts of animals. And basically how you accomplish a deep bedding method is you start with a dirt floor or a concrete floor or a plywood floor or, or whatever the surface of your colony is. And then you put a thick layer of bedding on top. That could be wood shavings, or wood chips, or straw, or hay, or paper shreds, or dried leaves, really whatever you want. We, right now, we do straw, but in the past I've just had a random deep bedding system where whatever was dry and could absorb moisture would go in the colony and that worked as well. And then you leave it alone for a day or a few days or a week or a few weeks until it starts to get nasty. And then, instead of taking the dirty bedding out and, add, and adding fresh bedding instead, you just put the fresh bedding on top of the dirty bedding. Then you have a clean layer, but then when that gets all soiled and dirty, you add another layer on top until months and months go by and you have a really deep layer of bedding. And it's like really huge and deep and there's all these good bacteria in there. And the bottom layer is composting. And then you do a big clean out and you put it in your garden or in your compost pile, let your chickens scratch through it or whatever you would do with really nutrient dense composted goodness. And then you start over with a layer of bedding, then when that gets dirty you put more on top and you just keep going and going. This method of keeping your colony clean is what I've been using for a long time and I like it a lot. It works super well for me. When I first started this method, I was worried, you know, will it smell because there's dirty bedding underneath and you just put more on top, but will that negate the smell? Will it still smell bad? But no, there is zero smell. It was kind of really shocking actually. You know, I'd go into my colony and it doesn't smell nasty. Like, you know, when you have rabbits in cages and there's like a whole bunch of poop underneath and it's just pure manure and pee, it smells very strong. But in the colony, there is bedding, so it smells different, but I could tell it didn't smell good, and it was just this really strong, icky smell, and I was like, okay, let's try this. I put new bedding on top, and the dirty bedding was still underneath, and the smell was gone, Like, and it smelled like fresh wood shavings for a day or two, and then a few days went by, and that smell went away. But then there was no smell. It didn't smell bad. I didn't smell the poop or the pee until a few weeks later when that top layer got dirty. Then I just added more. And so the short answer is no, it doesn't smell if you add enough bedding on top. If you are not generous enough with the bedding you sprinkle down, it will smell. But as long as you put enough bedding down to cover the dirty bedding, it will smell fine. Another thing I have come to notice or to know how to do is when do I put down more bedding, you know, when do I add another layer. For a while I would go by smell. If it smells bad, I add more. But I've come to realize that it's better if you actually add bedding when it looks dirty more than when it smells dirty. There comes a point when I can look and whether it be the dampness of the straw because it's absorbed so much pee or in certain places like by their greens feeder there is a whole bunch of poop pellets collected because that's where they like to hang out. I don't know, after a while of doing this I can come to notice 
when it's looking dirty and it still smells great but I can tell that we should probably add another layer and then when I do that fresh straw it's such a contrast it looks so different it looks so much cleaner and then that you know delicious straw smell comes and it smells so good and fresh and clean and then in a few days you know that fresh smell will go away and it'll just be smell like nothing and then I'll be looking around one day and go it doesn't smell bad but it still kind of looks not very clean like I don't know it's hard to describe but like once you get a feel for it then you can kind of tell at least I can so that is what I go by now is the look of the bedding rather than the smell but for starters I just did by the smell and my rabbits didn't die, they were fine, but I do prefer to do it more often than when it starts to smell bad. Alright, now that I've explained what it is and how I do it, let's go into some pros and cons of this deep bedding method. Some things I really enjoy about this method is that it's super easy. I, for one, I don't enjoy the idea of mucking out a rabbit colony every week. I much prefer coming in with a few flakes of straw and sprinkling them on top. And yes, you do have to do a really big muck out every once in a great while, but I don't really enjoy scooping out dirty bedding, so if I only have to do it once, I'd much prefer that than having to do it every week, especially with having to shovel around things like our feed table and nest boxes, you know, getting all the crevices and crannies. Deep bedding is so much easier to maintain on a day-to-day -day basis. Another thing I really like about deep bedding is all the composting that happens. We're not at that point yet, but whenever it gets really big and deep and thick, there's gonna be composting going on at, on the bottom layers. So whenever we do harvest it, we'll have compost all ready to go straight into our garden beds or for potting plants or, or whatever else I like to use dirt for. And then along with that, there are lots of good bacterias and microbes and stuff that are in the composting process and in this bedding system that are beneficial to the rabbits. I've heard many people express how much healthier and hardier the rabbits are. We're not quite at that point yet. We still, as you can see, have a very thin layer of bedding because we have so few rabbits in here and such a wide area. Our colony doesn't get dirty that fast, so we don't have to keep adding layers as often. So I long for the day where I can have a really huge, deep bedding and all the good composting microbes and all that but for now we're not having that but other people say it's really good and they really enjoy it so for now I'm gonna take their word for it and their personal experience until I have my own but that is something else I'm really looking forward to another thing I look forward to is the opportunities for them to burrow in our deep bedding if you've been following our adventure with escapes and all that you know that we have really hard ground except for this one spot where they kept getting out so we fixed all the problems but right now they only have access to hard ground that hasn't been rained on for quite some time and it's really hard for them to dig burrows in our rocky clay soil right now so eventually when we get huge amounts of composted dirt goodness in here then they'll be able to dig and make burrows in that so we'll be able to have all the benefits of burrows and digging and, and everything that comes with that I mean, of course the rabbits can dig now, and they kind of have a little bit, but like they don't really seem that motivated to dig right now because I guess it's too hard for them. So I'll just be patient till we build up a lot of bedding. So while there are so many awesome things about having a deep bedding method, there are some things I don't really like about it as much. For one thing, the building up of bedding slowly over time makes your means you're building up bedding like around your nest boxes and around your feed table and also my steps they're kind of being engulfed by bedding so every once in a while I'll take our nest boxes out and then add a bunch of bedding underneath so they stay you know level and don't slowly but surely become engulfed by bedding but having that constant rising makes some stationary objects in your colony slowly get covered and that's kind of annoying sometimes Something else about deep bedding, which we haven't had to do for rabbits as much, but we have a few times, and especially for goats too, we had a really awesome deep bedding for them. And it's the once a year clean out, or however often you do it, it's so hard. And when you have to do it all at once, because you have to move things out of the way, and take nest boxes out, and then scoop all around them, and it's like a lot of work, because the bedding is so much, and so thick, and so decomposed. It's kind of like adding up all the times you would have scraped out bedding if you were just replacing the dirty bedding. 
They're just adding them up to like a once a year thing. So that is kind of really annoying and hard, and I don't really like that. But even though there are several things I don't like about our deep bedding system, for me and my setup and my preferences, the pros outweigh the cons. Our setup is doing really good, and I love it, and it's great. So that is a brief discussion on deep bedding and how I do it and how I like it and how I don't like it and why I do it. Hopefully this video was helpful. Maybe you want to try deep bedding, maybe you don't. But if you do, know that at least for me, it works really well and, and it probably will for you as well. Thanks for watching.